What's going on YouTube? Dexon here. Yes, it's actually me, back from my two year break from RuneScape. Because let's be honest, we don't quit RuneScape, we just take breaks. Anyway, here I am, back with another guide. I figure with the release of 120 farming, people might be scrambling to figure out the best way to achieve 120 farming. Or at least a decent or quick way to achieve it. This guy obviously won't be for everyone, but for myself, just coming back to the game, I wanted to research the best or most efficient way to gain farming experience. And with sifting through a ton of outdated guides, I think I found the best or quickest way, for me at least, to achieve that goal. I'll also be throwing in a couple little tricks I found along the way to kind of help maximize those farming gains. We'll be covering tree runs to include fruit trees, herb runs, and also play around farms to include a portion of the ranch out of time only because I haven't fully unlocked all of the padlocks for it because it's kind of time gated with the resources I need to obtain. Keep in mind this guide is to maximize your farming experience, mostly pertaining to 120 farming, but this doesn't mean you can't use the same principles and practices at lower levels. Just substitute the seeds I'm using for seeds that match your farming level. And remember to always use the best seeds that you can for your level. So stick around, maybe learn a thing or two, and let's get farming. Now before we begin, we need to talk about the items needed during these runs. Let's start with the tree and fruit tree run. First off, in the equipment tab, you'll want to be rocking the Master Farmer Outfit. It costs 54,000 farmer fragments and requires 20 invention and 80 farming to create. And the blueprint is 1,000 beans from Granny at the player owned farm. This is extremely important because it will grant you the ability to use rapid growth twice per day. And this is huge for trees and fruit trees. Next to that, you can have a weapon with mobile on it, uh, which is a perk. It reduces the cooldown on surge. If you have double surge, even better. I don't have either of those things, so I guess I just suck. Also, a magic cape or a cape that has the magic skill cape perk on it would be great, and we'll get into why later. Another optional item is the Grace of Elves with stored porter charges. I'm not using that right now because the way I do my farm runs makes it so I really don't need it. And the inventory will be taking six magic saplings and seven palm tree saplings. And we're also gonna take coconuts and papaya fruit to pay the farm hands. You're also going to need the following runes, nature, astral, earth, and water for the rapid growth spell, decorated farming urns and urn enhancer. The blueprint used to discover how to make a urn enhancer is a reward from Nomad's Elegy and I believe it's 24 invention. You'll also want an attuned crystal teleport seed, and if you don't have the master farmer's outfit, a juju teleport spirit bag to teleport to herb lore habitat. And for the herb run, you're going to need, obviously, herb seeds, a troll heme or troll heim teleport runes, which are 10 water, three law, and three lunar. So yes, you'll be switching to the lunar spell book here. A Wilderness Sword 4 to teleport to the Wildy Herb Patch if you wish to do so. An Ectophile again if you don't have a Master Farmer outfit. An Explorer's Ring to teleport to the Cabbage Patch in Falador. And the Attuned Crystal Teleport Seed once again. Alright guys, so looking at our inventory here, I have two presets. One for farming the trees and fruit trees. One for the herb run that I do. I don't know why I named it Herb Lore, because that could be really confusing. But nonetheless, this is what I'm rocking right here for our first run of the day. The Magic Tree and the Palm Tree Run. This is what we have. We have our Decorated Farming Urns, the Urn Enhancer, our Runes, our Attuned Teleport Seed, and our Payment. So, first, I don't even think I'm on the right spell book so we're just going to change over to ancient real quick i'm going to also change my action bar because i have some things here for farming perfect okay so nonetheless we're ready to go let's start our farm run i also have the home teleports the pertinent ones kind of in a row right here i like how it's set up so i can start down on the bottom left which is our lumbridge teleport and off we go and I'm just going to take you guys right along with me with the farm run to show you how quick it is. And yeah, 
and we'll go from there. So first off, we have our magic tree here. We'll grab it. We'll throw it out. We're going to hit our rapid growth one time, two times. We're going to find our girl here. Pay our girl. Drop. And next is Herblore Habitat. Like I said, if you don't have the Master Farmer outfit, you can get a Juju Teleport Spirit Bag. And you'll end up in the same exact spot. Here's our palm tree, first fruit tree run. Grab that, grab all of our coconuts off of it. Of course, chop it down. And plant. And plant, or and do the rapid growth twice. It is so good because it turns a 16 hour tree, the palm tree, into like a 8 to 10 hour, depending on the game ticks. I usually pick up my extra coconut here and then off to the next one which will be Falador and I keep kind of snaking them I don't know if that's the correct word or term probably not don't throw a snowball at me Mr. Harold nonetheless so what I'm trying I alternate them that's probably the better word for it I alternate trees so that way I don't need the grace of elves I don't really want to deal with having to throw extra coconuts in the bank so we'll just alternate trees Get rid of this one. Rapid growth one time, two times. Pay. And let's go over to Karamja. I didn't even check to see what our starting XP was. But look at that. Look at all that bonus XP. go we're at our second palm tree chop it down use the sapling don't forget that rapid growth which I seem to forget all the time that'll do nicely and then we're on to our next one which is gonna be Taverly and you can see we're just gonna go like this so perfect off to the next tree go get rid of it use our next one boom double time on the rapid growth pay boom over here so you can already see how quick this is going extremely quick they probably have mobile I do not I keep telling myself I need to get it. I just, I'm too lazy. Here we go. Third, I believe, fruit tree. Boom. Pay. So yeah, I almost forgot already. Boom. Boom. It doesn't matter if you pay first or pay after the rapid growth. Doesn't have any effect on it. And off to Varrock. I'm actually thinking also about changing out the Ring of Dueling over to the Ring of Luck, or Luck of the Dwarves rather. That way I can just teleport to the Grand Exchange. But from what I've seen, it's pretty similar, the, the run distance. So, eh, maybe we won't mess with it. Either way, we're going to come up here to our, was it our fourth magic tree? Bap. Perfect. Go. A little double tap. And you don't have to do two rapid growths on the same tree. You could do it once. If you're able to get on quite often, maybe just do it once. That way you can hit rapid growth two times. But for me, it's easier to hit rapid growth twice on one tree. And then by the time the tree is done, usually reset has happened and I can hit double double uh, rapid growth again if that makes sense because I'm not always able to check my trees like as soon as they're done so I just hit double tap every time every time I can I do there we go next palm 
that that two rapid growth is just so good mandatory must get the master farmer outfit as soon as you can over here to the magic tree oh perfect timing okay Boom, here we go. Then you're going to go back to the spirit tree up here. Just follow me. And so we were here, and now we're going to go down to Tree Gnome Village. I think this is the stronghold, right? It's been so long since I actually paid attention to what the names are of these places. So down to the village. Over here, you're going to squeeze through and talk to your homie, Elkoi. He's going to lead you through the maze. I'm not even sure why I'm narrating it like this is a new player that has to do this. Like, It's a 120 guide, right? So you guys should know exactly how to get from point A to point B. Also, please leave down in the comments below if maybe I'm just so old school and there's maybe a better, more efficient way that I don't even know of yet. Um, if there is, I am all ears, and I will gladly take all of your guys' advice. So, yeah. All right, so after you're done with the spirit tree runs, you're going to right-click on your attuned crystal, go to let ya. And I forgive me if I mispronounce any of these. I don't want all the, the lore lords all up in my behind because, you know. You didn't, Dustin, you didn't, you didn't pronounce that word right. It happens. I've seen it before in my comments. I don't like it. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Okay. Here we go. Double tap. Boom, boom. And now we're going to go down here to the Terry. Terry Hearn. I just call it Trey. I'm going to Trey. Here we go. Last magic. Boom. And what? That's like a eight minute run? If that. Maybe a nine minute run. Double tap, boom. And then one more, activate, and we're gonna go here to Mylear. Mylear? Hopefully I got that one right. And to the north, to the last fruit tree. Now there are new fruit tree seeds and even new actual seeds out with the release of 120 farming. From what I've seen, it is just so expensive to even run, do f consistent farm runs with those seeds that that's why I'm not doing it and that's why I'm not really talking about it. But there are some other seeds. If you ha are made out of money, go for it, but it's just not for me. I'm going to stick with my palm tree and my magic tree, at least for now. So here we go. Done. We're done. Do, bo, done. So now we're going to go to our herb run. So here we go. We got our runes, we got our seeds, and our teleports. So, first, switch it over. You gotta switch it on over to Lunar. That way you can teleport. Uh, this one. Trollheim teleport. And let's do our far farm run. Now you can use a... What's up, buddy? can use a uh, perfect juju farming potion. I don't waste my time with it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't really care, I'm just here for experience, even though I probably would get more experience if I did, because I'd get extra picks, but oh well. So we're going to go there, and then we're going to go to Catherby and hit up the farm patch here, or the herb patch. Here we go. I don't have a blood seed. Um... Or else I'd go out into the wild, but I don't have one, so we're not going to do that. But if you do, or if you do want to go out to the wild patch, you're just going to use your wilderness sword and then uh, teleport to herb patch. Wilderness sword four right there. Boom. But not for me. If you have your explorer's ring, you're going to go to the cabbage patch. And pick up your dead herbs. Is it herbs or herbs? I don't know. 
guys leave it down in the comment section below. Am I just too American or, or am I too naive or too dumb? I can't figure it out. And then we're going to activate here. Go to number five, which is the Crows. Crows? Crows? Again, I apologize. The Curbs. Oh, yeah, that's a good pull right there. Nice pull. And then we'll go here to the Mauritania again. If you don't have the outfit, you can just use an ecto file. Oh, my God. What is going on here? You know what? I ran out of super compost my last run, and I still have been too lazy to uh, get more. <laughs> and that is why all of our seeds are dying. And then the final one, I did not want to go to Max Guild. I want to go to Manor Farm. Which will take us from our herb run over to our player owned farm run. The reason there's an extra seed here is because of the wilderness. I don't want to go, so we're not going to go. How about that? How about that, huh? Boom, 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 boom. All right, now, here comes tip number one. Create yourself a Word document. I have one right here. So chins, or the small animals, at least as far as I know, chins take 40 hours, zygomites take 80 hours, and dragons take 160 hours. Salamanders, I'm not sure yet. I'm still working on those. But, nonetheless... I think we got some animals to uh, to attend to. And these, the reason I'm listing these are because at least for player-owned farm, not the ranch, but the player-owned farm, they uh, these are the best experience rates. If you leave them, feed them, and then pick them back up at Elder, you won't get the most beans. Adolescent are the most beans, I believe, but Elder is the most experience, and we're all about getting that experience. So according to my Word document here, we have... We should have dragons ready to go, and we should have chins. Oh, yes, we should have chins ready. So create a word document, and as soon as you plant, I guess you could say plant, or put these animals inside the padlocks, here comes tip number two. I go to this website. I'm not endorsed by it, so I'm just using it for help. I go to this website here called timecalculator.net and as soon as I plant them I put the time down and I put you know 40 hours and it'll tell me when those will be ready so then I paste it right here 80 hours 160 hours know what I mean so let's check elder looks like the chins are ready to go uh oh that one wasn't elder elder why is that one not young at heart okay well we're gonna grab him anyway and dragons ready to go perfect so this is normally what I do I go back over to the max guild or to the GE if you don't have access to the max guild and I go straight in here and I grab more chins because I know I'm gonna need more so I hit one 12 six in each padlock don't mind me just tossing up a random number same thing with dragon. Should be 10. 3 and 3 is 6, plus 4 in the breeding pen is 10. And just, you know, grab whatever. Perfect. Perfect. Toss them in the bank. I have my little farming, farming spot here. And back off we go to the farm. We'll grab all the animals out. We'll sell them. And then we will go from there. So watch the XP roll in now. We're at 93,200,000. Granted, I do have bonus experience. Well, that's a perfect way to start. Right there, get yourself a money tree seed that I can't use yet. It's coming soon. 
I just fed and refilled all of these troughs as well, so that's why I'm not checking them. But normally you want to make sure you want to top them all off. The food that you need for dragons is raw meat is the best. So the cheapest raw... I don't know what that was. I got another money tree seed. Ooh. Oh, I hit one level night. Oh, I can plant them. Oh, look at that. Next guide. I already know what it's going to be. So, boom, boom, boom. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Raw bird meat is the cheapest raw meat that you can use for those. I use Mauritania mushrooms for the zygos. That is very, very expensive. Sucks to do, but you got to do it. And then I use flax for the chinchampas. Also flax for the green salamanders over at the um, ranch out of time farms. Or is it just ranch? I don't know what it is. Anyway. Let's sell our dragons real quick. I don't pay attention to perks because, you know, I just don't have time for any of that. So we'll throw the remaining dragons in here. Now we'll grab our chins. Boom, boom, boom. Another seed. This is insane. This is great. I'm making money. By doing nothing. Perfect. I know this video is starting to get a little lengthy too, so I'm going to have to really try and speed myself up here. Quick sell to the Chinchampa Collector. Boom. Boom. Perfect. How much did we get? 95.6 million. What was that? A few million, right? Oh my god. And then we just add more back in. Off we go here. Did I... Am I missing something? I didn't plant an herb. <laughs> oh no. The guide is ruined, guys. We'll grab an herb here in a minute. I got so caught up with wanting to get over to the player on farm part of the guide that I didn't even, I forgot to plant a herb. We'll get on it right now. Did I not do four here? Oh man, we're just messing this all up. No, I didn't. I only did three over here. And I didn't pay attention to the male or female aspect of it. Oh well. Normally I do. I think I have an unchecked with uh, Kalia. Egg, egg. What did I just do? What am I doing, guys? I need to add. There we go. Holy smokes. Good. We're done. All right. Let's go do these chinchampas real quick. Also, let's grab an herb. How about that? Terramid, Marintel. We'll give it a land. There we go. Throw all these in. Six in each. Perfect. All right. So we'll throw an herb in over here, an herb seed, and then we will go to the ranch out of time real quick. Kind of show you around over there. Again, I don't have all of it unlocked because I don't have all the resources needed. Since I just came back, it's completely time gated as most of you guys know. So I only have one small pen available to me right now. At least four now. But Eventually, we will get all of them unlocked on our way up to 200 million farming experience. Off we go. Oh, 
What do you guys think of this new movement? This I like it. I love it. Because I do terrible surges all the time. <laughs> and it actually helps. So adolescence. Since I just did it yesterday, like a day, a little over a day ago. I don't know if it's one day in 16 hours, 40 hours. I don't think it is. I think it's more like 50 to 60 for salamanders, but we'll keep checking and maybe I'll throw it up in a, in a comment on this guide. So nonetheless, those are my tips and tricks with getting your chins, your zygos, your drags, all on timers using that website I'll put a link down in the description below which is this one here this time calculator that's very 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 helpful and that's that's all she wrote after eight hours I check my trees if I double tap the rapid growth over to um, on the fruit trees then I check my fruit trees after eight to ten hours Normally I can get two runs in a day if I do the little double taparoo. And that's it guys. I hope this helped you get the most experience that you possibly can. Again, like I said, if I'm providing any outdated information, one, I apologize. Two, um, I will gladly take any advice and maybe do an updated guide later on in the year. Nonetheless, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, smack that like button, maybe subscribe, and honestly, write down in the comments what other guides you would like. I'll do my research. I'll look. I'll do what I can to provide information to you, the people. Okay? Once again, this is Dexon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace!